happening here in Portland, but some of the states uh, parts of the state just tinder dry right now. Yeah, especially the south end where we've seen most of our wildfires yeah. so far this summer dry and hot. That's going to be the theme through tomorrow. So red flag warning is going to be issued starting tomorrow afternoon, lasting through tomorrow night for places like Ashland, Grants Pass and Medford. Very dry, low relative humidity, winds coming from the northwest with gusts up to about a 20 to 25 for you tomorrow. Uh, in addition to that, some pretty strong winds here along the coast out of the north. Uh, we'll be getting gusts up to about 30 to 35 miles per hour. Small craft advisory will be in place all the way through Sunday night for the Oregon coastline. So keep that in mind if you're heading out that direction. In the meantime, how are things shaping up for us so far in Portland? It's 67 degrees. Dew point 57. Uh, wind out in the northwest at 7 miles per hour. Sunrise time tomorrow morning, 6 11. How warm was it today? We got up to 83. Troutdale, Portland, Hillsborough hit 85. McMinnville, but our normal high PDX is 81. And so far, our hottest day since the summer started, officially June 21st, was 94 degrees. Now, before summer actually started, we had some hotter temperatures in the upper 90s uh, earlier in June, uh, but we have not hit that century mark yet. So far, we've had seven days where temperatures have been at 90 degrees or warmer. So as we take a look at your current temperature now, Mount Hood, look at that, 48, 75 the Dalles. We have 67 right now in Portland and 64 in Lincoln City. So we have a little bit of a blocking pattern in place right now. So high pressures in place, but this is all going to be moving on out here as we get through the weekend and low pressure tries to drop in and enhances our marine layer, stronger onshore flow. More of that marine layer means thicker clouds and a little bit of drizzle to start off your day the next few days. Watch the area of low pressure. It went through so quickly, but it didn't get close enough to us to really bring us a good chance of rain. I'm going to show it to you. This is what it looks like. So here we go. Friday morning, 830 in the morning, a little bit of drizzle there, especially in the foothills. A repeat happening once again, northwest Oregon, southwest Washington, all the way up to Seattle. Uh, enough clouds in place. We could ring out some drizzle to perhaps measure closer to the coastline. This is Saturday morning, about 730 in the morning. We get through the rest of the day on Saturday. You have partly cloudy skies Sunday morning, starting off eight o'clock in the morning. Again, mostly cloudy Portland to the north areas to the south. Some patchy clouds. Other than that, you are dry and clear all the way out to eastern Oregon. This is Sunday, the entire day. Monday, pretty good weather day too. Tuesday, here comes that next area of low pressure, but will it actually bring us rain? There we go. It'll come through Washington and leave us with barely anything at all for next Wednesday. So checking out your seven day forecast. Here we go. How about some mid to upper 70s for your weekend numbers? And then we'll that? get back up to 90 next Tuesday. Yeah, we'll get another 90 degree day, which have been pretty rare this summer. It really, really yeah. has, yeah. Thanks, Natasha. Sure. Still to come here. How was Salem?